Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some fake Grand Order. Today to talk about the upcoming event, uh, really to just look at it, to look in the JP side to see what's to come, uh, and then also look over the current information that we got right now. So that's what today's video is going to be. If you like it, you can leave a like, comment about how you feel about any of the stuff talked about here, and you can subscribe to me if you want some more fate stuff. Um, so Onyland, it is the fourth... Um, Halloween events. It's also the last one that is actually on Halloween. Because uh, I don't know if Saber Wars 2 is actually takes place on Halloween, but it's 100% nothing like Halloween, so I don't consider it a Halloween event. Um, so this is officially the last one until Japan returns it or something. Um, we get Shuden Doji. She is a caster. She is the free unit for this event. Um, and Chia Homi is on it. This is the very nice website they made for it. It looks beautiful. Tells you about some info about it, and now let's go over here to where we can actually learn a little, a little bit more about the event. So if you don't know this, the pre-event for this has you to beat uh, Guttermang. The reason is is because you need to actually beat Lost Belt Two to actually make it to this point. This is Lost, yeah, this is Lost Belt Two. You need to beat Lost Belt Two to actually have access. So if you have not beaten Lost Belt Two, you cannot play this at all. Not not whatsoever. Um, so you gotta go go do that i hope that you haven't um i would actually suggest if you beat halloween 3 and you got the unit and have finished everything or at least half of everything got the stuff you need you need to quickly move over and start doing this um because if you can't beat it in time it's gonna be very unfortunate because you're gonna be a little bit behind and it's kind of important for this event and i'll go into it a little bit recently a little bit right <laughs> A little bit later how about right now so what kind of events is this this is a raid event raid quests what are raid uh rare raid quests let me read right here main quests are released daily on october 30th not for us it's a different um unlock when players have cleared first half of the main quest all masters work together to whittle down a total hp of the boss in order to unlock the next main quest Clear all event quests to unlock Shin Doji Caster permanently. So this is the release schedule. We don't know the release schedule for North America because we don't have that info yet. But you can kind of see how it kind of went from the 24th, 25th, 26th. Because um, so I'm pretty sure in this case it's because Japan beats stuff really fast, and also in North America it usually only takes us like a day to actually take down the the raid boss. And here usually are the raid boss. Uh, you can see it right here. We got Reijo, Kaiju, Cure. Um, should be three different bosses with three different levels of health. Um, and fighting this is what's going to get you to have this right here. This, These drop rewards. And using those part rewards, you got to build up a ladder. Um, this seems like a lot, but trust me, when it's with raids. Also, the your how do you get more of these? You have to actually use units with it. So here are the units that drop a percentage of it. Um... A good batch of them if you don't have any of these units it's going to be a bit tough but thankfully there's a good whiff of them at least in uh 10 percent that are three stars to two stars and i think there's at least one one star in bunyan but it's actually very hard to get bunyan it's any kid servant um basically any kid servant plus shooting leonardo da vinci vinci and mush so those are the only ones that aren't kids that are on uh, this specific list um yeah so <laughs> It doesn't take very long for raid battles to just kind of finish. So that's why I kind of mean you have to get this. You have to be up and ready in time. Because if you're not, you're going to miss out on a lot of these raid quests, which is going to make your life a little bit harder to deal with. Um, especially since it's just it's it's just easier if you're there from the start and can kind of deal with the raids along with everyone else. There are, of course, main quests that you can do. Um, free quests. No, I should have said free quest. Where you can actually grind this currency, so you don't have to, I guess, 100% rely on the raids. Um, but the raids are probably the easier way to get these points, of course. As as is tradition, the raids usually are very much easier to get the things you need from them. Um, and up until the last day, where I think they actually unlock something that has decent drop awards. Like this one, for example, that just only has this drop. Um, yeah. All right. So, that's the event in itself. Let's look at the um, the banner itself. So, you'll meet this girl in Lost Belt 2 if you haven't done it. This is Tonia. She is Ilya as a pseudo-servant. 
um, with like multiple goddesses in her, um, inside her body. Uh, she's an anti-dragon with a single spark arts and alter ego. Um, <laughs> as far as I can tell, not a lot of people use her, but I haven't seen a lot of people also complain about what she does. So it's one of those things is like, if you want an anti-dragon unit and there's plenty of dragons that aren't the correct class of stuff, um, she's going to do perfectly fine for you. Um, her skills are very interesting, so she's a very interesting unit to use. The only negative for her, I guess, and this is not really a negative, um, is that if you want to do support casting, um, in North America at least for now, all you have is Tamamo. Uh, the fox wife, as everyone knows her, uh, calls her as, I guess. She's only the current, she's like the main, um, arts caster at the moment. Um, Castoria comes later, and that helps out with, um, that gives a lot of boost for a lot of, like, arts units, but at the moment, being an art unit, you have to really work for what you want, so just remember that, um, as you're going into it, if you're one of those type of players, but at the same time, she's also single target, so, um, you're not really using a whole bunch of them except for when you want to in a challenge quest or something like that. Actually, I don't know, there's a good amount of people that apparently just play not doing the three turn grind which you know i respect your right to play the game however you like of course um and then we have chikome and ibaraki uh or the the banana as everyone calls her banana is pretty good she's pretty solid i like banana chikome i just don't know enough because she's an assassin four star which just automatically makes me think she's not very good um chance to steal one enemy's np for one turn 100 percent at level 10 uh, 80% level 1. Increases on art support for 3 turns. She doesn't seem that bad, actually, now that I'm looking at her. She seems pretty- uh, deals damage to one enemy. Seal their skills. I just don't really see a lot of people talk about her. I'm sure she probably needs a buff or so. But, you know. That's the life of being a single target assassin who is not the, the big, dumb gorilla units. That's just kind of how, that's kind of the lot in life you've been selected. Uh, except for, uh, Kama and Gramps, who are huge damage-dealing single-target assassins, but they're kind of the ones that come to mind, uh, not everyone else. Um, the CE, Welcome to Own Lands, pretty solid with starting NP charge 40%. If it was 50%, it would actually be perfectly fine if you got it. 40% is a little bit annoying. But 40% ain't bad, and it's 50% when you get a full max on limit broken. These other two are fine for the event, but you're never actually going to use them in any... Um, you usually don't use many of them for anything, in general. They're very, like, weird effects. Um, these are the three... So, you can see here that, um, if you look at the raid quests, you can see that they have a whole buttload of damage. So you're probably wondering, as a new account, I've never even fought anything with this much HP. How am I gonna do anything? Well, the answer is, these C these three CE give 100% to 500%, depending on the event bo points. Um, bonus damage to specifically Buster cards, Quick cards, and Arts cards. So they can help a whole bunch for this event. Um, the CEs, the things they do aren't the greatest. I don't think this CE is that great of effect. This CE doesn't have great effect, but it does have amazing art. Look at that. Perfect art that can't be used on YouTube thumbnails, but damn, isn't it nice to look at. Mmm, very good. And then this one I actually like because it has Ignore Invincibility, and if you don't have a CE that has Ignore Invincibility, it can be very good for, um just to have just in case there are some bosses that um it would benefit greatly if you could just hit them instead of having to play their evade game um so that's very good to have i think at least just in case i don't always use my ignore invincibility ce's but when i do i'm think i'm thankful to have them and for the event command code you have the demonic twilight dragon deals uh, extra 20 percent damage to dragon enemies when intact with the engraved card uh dragon slayer sword deals Extra 25% critical damage to dragon enemies when attacked with the grave card. And White Vessel's Command Seal removes one random debuff when you use the attack with the engraved card. Uh, three pretty good uh, commands, <laughs> command codes. I don't use many command codes because I just don't know who to give them to. Obviously, you, these are very single target to dudes who already do bit damage to dragons like um, Sigurd, Siegfried, and... Um, 
I don't, I don't think you'd give this to Georgios. No, you wouldn't give this to Georgios at all. You very rarely want to attack with Georgios in general. Um, and Setonia. Anyone that's already built to beat dragons, this just helps them beat dragons better. Um, yeah, and that's kind of this event. The only other thing that... Oh, wait, no. The event shop. Uh, we got the uh, scale dragon scales. We got the pot. The pot. We got Aurora Steels um, under Gavel Sunday. Under the churros, we got um, dragon hearts. No, they're fiend hearts, right? Not dragon hearts. Heart of the foreign god. I was not even close. The magic lamp and the feather. Um, the feather and the heart are used a whole bunch uh, for skills and for ascension upgrades, so they're very solid. Um, this one's also used in a lot for a lot of units, but not enough to make me go, "Oh, you definitely need a whole bunch of them." The lamp is kind of not. Not you. I have over a hundred lamps. I don't really use many of them. And then we got seashells. We got um, stinger of certain death. Is that what this thing is called? Stinger. I just called it the blue thingy. And then we have the um, fluid, the magical fluid. Um, you always need a lot of bronze stuff, so it's nice just to have a bunch of bronze stuff. And a lot of summer units use seashells, so the more seashells, the better. Um, so I think it's pretty solid for all three of them. At least for me, it's like, all right, all three of these I could use. Two of these I could use. And this one, at least two of these I could use. I don't really need um, scales anymore. And I don't. And Aurora Seals are the only thing I really need. I've never needed this. I have never in the entirety of this game ever really ever need to use these spots. Who even uses these spots? Okay, that might be why. Yeah, the, all these dudes who use these pots, I've never really used many of them. I have like a hundred pots just waiting for someone. Okay, the one who uses it the most is Mysterious X Altar. Oh, I'm going to use this for when the, the soft costume comes out. I'll remember that. So yeah, this is the event. This is Halloween 4. Um, interesting event. Uh, I don't know much about it story-wise or anything else about it other than it's a raid event. Um, but it will, the events are a little bit more straightforward than something like um, the current mission stuff. So if you're a new player going like, I want something different, this is something different. Because it's more about boss fights than anything else. And you can use a bunch of different units because of the 100% damage um, CEs that either come with it. The 100 to 500% CEs. So I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. So I'm looking forward to this event. Um, this is obviously not the start date for us. For us, it says somewhere in mid-October. So I would assume not long after Ellie's, um, not long after Ellie's Halloween bash is when we can expect Oniland. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember, you can always leave a like and tell me how you feel. And you subscribe to me for more of this stuff. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go back to grinding on, grinding on Ellie. Nope. Scratch that. It would be technically grinding on Mecha Ellie. Anyone who's still here hear me talk about grinding on Ellie. Doesn't matter. See you all later. Camilla, though. That's fine. And legal. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever you watch for me. Peace!